Good morning, people. I've just arrived at the world's biggest camel market in Cairo, Egypt, and uh, we've just driven about an hour out of the city to get here. I have no idea what to expect. Apparently, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm with uh, Hussein this morning, morning. And, uh, <laughs> and then we're, we're going to be heading over to the market this way. So yeah, buzzing. Join me. I don't know if you can hear me, but this is crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, this is crazy. like paid a small fee for the entrance. If you're wondering why like one of the camel's legs are like tied up and um, that's like this because um, it doesn't run so fast. This is my Mahmoud. friend, Mahmoud. Mahmoud, nice to meet you. I'm happy to drink anything. Yeah. Here it's normal water, I think. <laughs> this is pretty mad. Eh? So is this a this is Egyptian tea? Yeah, we we'll call it Egyptian tea. Cheers. So like here, um, we've got all women camels, and they're just used for breeding, basically. Um, and these will be the owners here. And then what they do is when when there's an auction. Um, you'll see all the people like running with the camels and uh, they'll auction them off in groups so um, there might be three or four which get auctioned off at a time you know, it's just start pouring down with rain and um, everyone's just kind of like ducked inside oh, you can see this truck arriving now with all the camels look at this tops of their heads in the uh, in the truck. Oh, look at this massive lorry just arriving now. Jesus Christ, this is actually mad. There must be like 30 camels in there, I think. And look, you can see them all organized here. And this guy, he must be the owner. You can see they're like all marked. Jeez, I didn't think it rained in Cairo. Is it quite rare? <laughs> it's got a lot of rain. Wow, how, they, they must be like 10 feet. Oh, <laughs> 
ولدك ده حسين؟ عامل ايه؟ الحمد لله مستني Which ones are your camel? Okay. All of them. It's your uh, camel. He was gonna sell all of them. Oh wow! This, and uh, this is the best one to sell the camel to the pyramid. Yeah. He get he get the clever camel with all way. Yeah. Because he knows who is the best camel we're gonna sell. These are these are race camels, which are pretty cool, and uh, these have come all the way from Sudan, so they would have come by a truck, a 12-hour journey, and um, they just ended up here now ready for race day and um, in Egypt they have uh, one race day a year that happens right at the end of the new year and uh, but in Saudi Arabia where a lot of these camels get sold they have races there like all the time like once a month apparently That has another truckload of camels. So little bit of you can stop the the photo. Little bit of we hide. We hide the camera right now because some people here is not. We hide the camera now? Yeah. Stop now. Okay, we've got to stop the camera now because people don't like it here. <laughs> the horns are crazy. But you need that kind of level of horn because like the Egyptian way. <laughs> the Egyptian way. <laughs> Yeah, you need a, a, a loud horn here. Everyone's running in front of the car. Look, you got like kids running around, <laughs> camels running around. So sometimes I have to stop filming and sometimes like it's okay. Um, some people are too friendly to the camera around here because there's been big problems with like the way they treat the camels and stuff here. Um, so it's kind of like a no camera policy, but uh, Hussein's the boy and uh, he knows what, where and where and I can't, where I can't film. <clears throat> So what, what kind of camels are these for? Are these like transport camels or racing oh, this camels? This camel can work at the pyramid. This one can work at the pyramid. And what makes it a good camel? Yeah, this one makes good camel, yeah. Why? Why is it good? Because this one is really clever and really kind with people. Okay. He didn't make any sound. And this one also, he can work at the pyramid. It's really nice work at the pyramid. So if the camel's like, Clean some and as kind. Can work at the pyramid, and some camel he can. Okay, so this one by the wall here. This yes. is a handsome camel. Is it a male or female? Male. Oh, okay, so definitely handsome. <laughs> Must be like well over a hundred camel here, eh? Good <laughs> You see the camel 
all tied up in the back there. That's pretty crazy. And uh, is this the sticks? Oh, so this is the sticks that they beat the, um, the cameras with. Oh. Oh, no, we're going to another farmer's. Oh, fuck. <laughs> These camels are like dinosaur size, so I just didn't think they were this big. And you can see where they store like the hay on the top of the uh, building there. And uh, what are these camels used for? What? What are these camels used for? Transport? For riding. For riding. Farming. Okay, we're back in the mixer. Look at this. It's like, there's like kids who get involved with this. I suppose it's a family run business. And uh, it's still pouring down rain. This one? Oh, no, no, no. oh, the one behind. Oh, okay. It's a really weird smell of camel sh and something which tastes really good like garlicky and oniony. I'm not sure. Uh, we've got a combination of both places. <laughs> uh, we're just sheltering from the rain. Um, it's actually pretty bad. I think there's only uh, 14 days on average of rainfall in Cairo a year. Uh, so, makes it a special day. Go, go, go. Jesus, it must be like 50 camels, 50, 50, probably over 50. So I don't know if I mentioned, but the market, it starts at about five, six o'clock in the morning. It goes all the way through to about 10, 11. Um, today's a little bit more quiet because uh, of the weather and uh, because of Corona and lockdown, uh, like lots of camels, they aren't um, coming in and out uh, of the country. Yeah. This market has been running since uh, 2001, so that's a good 20 years. Um, before that, it was in a different place. It was in the middle of the city. And um, yeah, they, they moved it here because it was more uh, appropriate for transport and travel. And uh, that's me signing out of the world's biggest camel market. One of the craziest markets I've ever been to. If you want to see more, follow me on Instagram at Fiori Photography, on Facebook, or my website, www.benfiorephotography.com. So yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button, and I'll see you next Friday. Peace.